Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra has been sharing a powerful series titled The Determinants, Things That Determine the Outcome of Your Life. Yesterday, he spoke about seasons and how they influence life. Today, he speaks about the 14 natural seasons. Come along. Solomon said, that what determines how far people go is how they respond to the seasons. Very important. And there are two types of seasons in every human life. The first one is natural seasons. A period of time that is favorable to do something or a period of time that is associated with something. But let's look at the first one, natural seasons. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, let's read. To everything, there is a season and a time. So here he's going to talk about natural seasons. Season is a period of time that is easy to do something. And he says, to everything, there is a season. And he said, you must also remember that every season has an expiry period. That's why I say there is a time. The seasons don't go on forever. Then he goes to talk about 14 seasons in normal human life. So verse 2, he says, there's a time to be born, a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pick, pluck up that which is planted. So you see that in every verse, there are four seasons. So the first four, he says, there is a time to be born. Naturally speaking, even when you look at the human body, you can't give birth at any time. There is a season when it is very easy to give birth. And I think it is from your 20s. So Solomon said, even to give birth, you cannot sit down and say, me, I want to give birth at 56. No. No. You don't determine what you do. The seasons determine what you do. That's the mistake most people make. She says there's a time even to be born. Even assuming you are married, if a woman is not ovulating, you can't have a child. It's not possible. So even for a young woman, it's not every day that you can have a child. You may have some small window of about a week or some few days. When you miss that window, Look, you can take a box of Viagra. Nothing will happen. Because you have missed the season. There is a time to die. When you are reading newspapers and you see your classmates are appearing in obituaries, it's an email to you. A time to plant a time to pluck up this which is, that which is planted. A time to kill. A time to heal. A time to weep. A time to laugh. A time to mourn. A time to dance. A time to cast away stones. A time to gather stones. A time to embrace. And a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get. And a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Even there's a time you didn't say anything. And there's a time when you don't say something, something is wrong. A time to love and a time to hate. 
Even to fall in love, there is a season for it. One day I had a friend, very rich man, more time you there, he wants to get married. Up to today, he's not married. Because he doesn't know whether the women are marrying him for his money or they are marrying him because they love him. He's trying to marry out of season. When he was broke and he was 21, that's when he should have chosen his wife. Then that one, you know that the woman loves you for who you are. Verse 8 says, a time of war and a time of peace. Verse 11 says, he has made all things beautiful in his time or its season. In other words, when we move according to the seasons, your life becomes beautiful because everything is easy, very easy. So, these are natural seasons. And at any point in time, every individual is, is, is in his own unique season. Because my season is different from yours. Maybe it may be a time to plant for you, but it may be a time of the harvest for me. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that we must be able to recognize the 14 natural seasons of life and respond to them appropriately because doing so determines the outcome of our lives. Join in again tomorrow as this exciting message continues. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. This one says, delivered by listening to your message. It's a dear Kakra, I had a conviction one night to listen to your message on familiar spirits. I started listening to it and fell asleep. As I was sleeping, I had a vision. In the vision, your message was still playing on my phone and the floor began to shake. Four demons appeared instantly in my bedroom, but something strange happened. I saw a certain form of power surge out of the message playing on my phone. It hit the demons and they all disappeared. I thank God for his saving power. God bless you. For your time, you can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 Send an email to info at You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 20 7575 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.